One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. You know, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Day, sir. Oh, Mr. Kilgore, how are you? Well, I trust. I got you the plumes and the orchids that you asked for. You did? Oh, the Duchess of Sorrento will be most happy with you. She's an old friend, the Duchess. Gone to see it a little now, but in her youth, oh, she was the most beautiful woman in all of Italy. Oh, a Neapolitan pearl. I mean, even I would have been. No. Bellissima, oh, quite astonishing. You're good, oh, you're very good. Algernon, I whispered to myself, I said, this man has the eye of an artist. No, he's better than an artist. He's a man of taste, a connoisseur like you. Oh, that's what I murmured to myself, and I wasn't wrong. No, sir, I was quite right. Marvelous. How much do I get? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, at least a hundred dollars. Mm. Mm, this should set you right. I'm sorry it's cash. I prefer something less vulgar, but such is life. I'm fine with cash. Anything else you need? Me? No, I'm fine. There is one oh. thing. More orchids are quite a particular list, but once again, I will make it worth your troubles. Okay. It's a little something I'm making for the uh, Baroness von Buchwald. You know how she is. Oh, very demanding. Dreadfully so. The best ones they always are. Thank God you came, Tacitus. I was panicking. 
I cannot believe the pressure this woman puts me under. Which woman? The Baroness, of course. She writes the most dreadful missives from Baden-Baden. Still, now, I will finish her creation. Oh, my lord. And after that, it's never-ending. Well, if you keep paying, I can keep looking. I don't like to impose. No, keep paying me, and it's not an imposition. Well, then, here's the money for the orchids for that ghastly baroness. And next, I think we'll work on this. It's a, uh, displayer cabinet of curios for the Contessa de Bellagio's new palazzo on Lake Garda. <laughs> She's asked me to summer with her there next year, but, well, I find the whole thing a little gaudy. Italy is just so overrun with Americans just now, don't you find? Yeah, it's a real problem. And it's the worst kind of Americans. Financiers, New Yorkers, oh, they're such vulgarians. And, uh, what do you need? The silly old thing has a penchant for lizards. So, I'm making her a series of centerpieces focused on alligator eggs and orchids. Huh. It's about duality. Well, I'm all about duality. Oh, uh, well, here, and remember, Tacitus, take your time and bring me nothing. Nothing but the best. I'll try. Stranger. Hello, Algernon. Well then, did you get those eggs? Oh, yes. You're a wonderful fellow, Tacitus. A man of a rare distinction. Herculean labors performed almost effortlessly in the pursuit of art. Oh, the Contessa, well, she's a terrible hag, but she'll be happy. I hope so. What do you think of this hat? Oh, yeah. Very exotic. I made it for you. For me? Ah, no. Uh, I'm just, uh, it's, it would be wasted on me, Algernon. It's too fine for a man of my coarseness. At least try it on. No. Please. <sighs> okay. There you go. Not exactly me. No, you're right. It's all wrong. I went forte, and I should have gone molto adagio. Here's your money for the eggs and the flowers. Have you got anything else? No, oh, but I've imposed too much already, and I'm ashamed of the millinery. Well, you pay well, and it's easy enough work. I do need some more orchids. Fairly rare ones, quite a few. It's for a cabinet I'm making for a wonderfully spoiled little girl on Fifth Avenue. I thought you hated New Yorkers. Oh, I do. I'm just so dreadfully weak-willed. It's not the money. It's the chance to make these things. Mm. Oh, I wanted to say no, Tacitus. I really did. But somehow, huh, I never can. I'll see what I can do. Oh, and uh, Tacitus, I'll make you something. Honestly? I'm fine. Oh, it's the Contessa. She's insatiable. Insatiable! Thank God you're here. Thank you, God. I've been eating for days. I've gained so much weight. It's the worry, Tacitus. It's killing me. Uh, calm down, Algernon. This is calm. You should have seen me yesterday. I nearly ate the cat. She says such cruel things. Well, I got you the things for the girl in New York. That strumpet, I don't care about her. She's trade. She's common. Her father lends money. It's so vulgar. Oh, damn her. It's the aristocracy. It's the old families. It's the last of the old guard. It's the Contessa Tacitus. I love her. Well, love or not, 
You owe me for these. Oh, money, dear boy, I don't give a fig for money. Here, here, take this money. Money is beneath me. This? It's quite a bit. Enjoy it. Uh, spend it on love, on beauty, on amore. Sure. Now, Tacitus, I need more orchids. Here, here's the list. These are very rare. I plan to declare mm -hmm. my love like a god. Mm -hmm. In flowers, in beauty. Oh, all my life, the times we shall spend by the lake in Lombardy. Oh, Tacitus. Well, it sounds... Divine. <clears throat> it sounds divine. Hmm. Oh, there you are. I got you those orchids. I don't need them anymore. Why? What happened? It's the Contessa. She's, uh... She's married another. I'm, s I'm so sad. Oh, I'm sorry. She left me for a postman. She married a postman. I mean, it's... She's... She's a countess. And a postman. Isn't the shame of it? I, I mean, if it was a prince, I could have coped with it, but a, a postman? Life is extremely challenging at times. Tacitus, I want you to kill me. Huh? I, I have a gun. <clears throat> Quite a gun. These are Tahitian pearls. Well, Tahiti? Have you been? Nearly, but I guess we never made it. It's not for people like us, Tacitus. Please, just kill me. What? No! Then give me the gun! <laughs> Calm down! I think it best for both of us if I keep the gun. I'm so ashamed, Tacitus. <sighs> oh, then, jeez. Now I'll have to go to Baltimore to see my awful sister. Not to lay guard. To smell the gardenias. I'm not <laughs> sure what to tell you. Here's your payment for the orchids. Thank you. I'm too old for love, Tacitus. Too old to live without it. Oh. Wise words. But art will see me through, Tacitus. Surely it shall. Oh. Ah, here. I promised you I'd make something. I have your hat. <sighs> Pretend to like it. I couldn't have another rejection, not... It's wonderful. You take care, Algernon. Goodbye, Tacitus. Think of me fondly. PlayStation.